In this video, we'll go through a quick demo of Quintly's platform. Quintly is a powerful and highly customizable social media analytics platform where brands, agencies, and different organizations can track social media accounts for analytical, benchmarking, and reporting purposes. Let's start by adding all the accounts that you want to analyze. Go to Accounts and click on Add New Profile. Search for a profile by username or simply paste the full URL and then select the ones that you want to analyze. The networks supported at the moment include Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Snapchat shows. It's worth mentioning that if you're working with many projects, say you're a marketing agency with different clients, you can swap the social media accounts that you don't want to analyze. If you would like to get access to private statistics, such as reach and audience demographics, you will need to authenticate your profiles. To do so, simply go to Authentication, New Request, and authenticate your accounts yourself, or generate a link to share with the account owners. No need to share login credentials. Once we've added numerous profiles, organize them into groups. You can categorize profiles by their type, campaign, use case, and more. When a group is added, go to Manage Group and Assign Profiles. Each account can be assigned to as many as you want. When going into the analysis later, these groups will allow you to easily select the subset of profiles that you want to analyze. As soon as the profiles are added, you can start setting up your first dashboard in the Analytics section. If you're unsure which metrics are the best for a specific use case, use one of Quintly's pre-made templates. You can choose any from the wide range of ready-to-use dashboards and individual metrics. Each of them can be customized and arranged with the KPIs that best fit your purpose. Choose Competitive Benchmarking. Click on Save Dashboard. Once the dashboard is saved, let's take a look. Let's start by giving your dashboard a name. In this dialog, you can also co-label your dashboard by adding a custom logo. Those changes will be reflected across all reports and export options. Once saved, let's move to filters and settings. Firstly, choose a group or a single profile that you want to analyze. We decide on the time frame from the date selector. You can either use the date picker or type, for example, last month, week, etc. You can even further filter your dashboard by using our filters. This will allow you to filter posts by tags or text. We will discuss it in more depth in a second. Each metric can be resized and rearranged on the dashboard. You can also click on each metric to get a detailed view, including its description, hints, data sources, and equations used. You can always add, clone, and delete any metric in your dashboard. The real power of Quintly lies in the flexibility and customization options. Let's say that you would like to find the 10 best performing and the 10 worst performing posts based on engagement over the last week. For better comparison, both of those tables should be displayed side by side. Use the metric settings to do that. Click on the More icon in the header of the metric. From the drop-down, choose Edit Settings. A new dialog will show up. Name this metric as Top 10. Next, choose the sorting. In this case, it will be the interaction rate. Choose the sorting direction as descending and limit the number of rows to 10. Since it is Instagram, you do want to see the preview, so go ahead and uncheck the thumbnail. You can then add custom report notes that will be visible in the dashboard, exports, and automated reports. You can also customize this metric even further by overwriting dashboard-specific filters such as profiles or groups, the time frame, or even tags and keywords. For this specific case, make sure that no matter what the set dashboard time frame is, you want to see last week. Go to the custom date range for this metric and set it to last week. All set and click Apply. After covering the top 10, you can see the 10 worst performers. It will take literally 10 seconds to do so. First, click on the More icon again and choose the Duplicate option. It's worth mentioning that you can clone your metric to any dashboard within your account. Click on Edit Options of the newly created metric to change the name and the sorting order to Ascending, then click Save. That's it. 
side-by-side -side comparison. There are multiple ways to customize and create metrics. That is why we have introduced a powerful metric builder and QQL, Quintly Query Language. This feature allows you to take complete control of the metrics. In this simple example, we will show you how you can easily adjust specific formulas to your business needs, even when it comes to something as simple as interaction rate. Many of our existing clients put a different weight to like, share, or comment. Once in the metric editor screen, we can change the weight by adding a multiplication factor to each variable. While there, we can also change the visualization of the metric. Once we are happy, we can click on Run QQL to compute the changes. We can then save it or create a new metric that can be accessed for future use. This example was just a sample of the things users can create and modify with QQL and Metric Builder, giving our users true customization and flexibility. Let's discuss a more specific scenario. We would like to benchmark all of the streaming services during a specific recurring event, Halloween. We would like to see the posts that directly mention this holiday and all the stats behind it per profile. This is where the tags mentioned before and advanced filters come handy. The first step is to find all of the posts in 2020 that mention Halloween. Navigate to the tag section, choose a group and time frame one month before and a week after the 31st of October. Then utilize the advanced filters. Click on add filter and from the right sidebar, add a text filter. You can add as many text filters as you want and also decide whether all or any of the conditions have to be met. This gives you the ability to really refine your result. Once added, the filtered posts will appear. We can now tag them to use for future analysis. Select all of them and click on Assign Tags. Next, create a Halloween tag and select it. All of the posts are now tagged. Finally, go back to your dashboard to use the newly created tag to analyze the data. If you don't want to use the same dashboard, you can always clone it and use the new one. In the dashboard settings, choose the additional filter and choose the tag that we created. This way, you have a campaign-specific dashboard that will give you insights on how this campaign performed in order to prepare better for next Halloween. One very powerful extension to post tagging is the ability to automate the process. Let's say you want to make sure that each post mentioning Halloween will be tagged automatically. In order to achieve that, head to the Tag Manager section, click on the More icon and choose Edit. Go to the Automation section and select New Rule. You will be greeted with the same filter options as on the dashboards, metrics, and post tags. Choose the profiles or groups you want to include. Next, select the time frame. To make this rule run indefinitely, choose forever as the end date. Finally, pick a keyword that you want this rule to be triggered on. It is Halloween in our case. When finished, click on the Add Rule button. You can always revise and edit your rules if needed. This automation comes very handy if you also want to monitor if specific profiles are posting about the subject that you're interested in. Once you've set up your dashboards and performed your analysis, you would like to share your results with colleagues, company executives, or clients. Here's how to do a one-off export. It's important to know that you can share your full dashboard or just a single metric. In order to send a whole dashboard, click on Export and choose the format that you would like your results to arrive in. We support all of the major file extensions and a special link export. The shareable link is a very unique way to share your results. It will allow you to create an interactive dashboard for anyone to see the data the same way as you do. You can choose whether it has fixed dates or a rolling date range, and you can narrow it down even further with the advanced filters functionality. Once the link is generated, it can be copied and shared. Anyone viewing these shared dashboards or metrics can hover on any of the data points to get more granular information. The second option would be to create an automated report. It's one of those set up and forget features that will save you a lot of time in communicating results. Let's build one now. Click on Create Report. In the new dialog window, first add the email addresses that you want to send it to. 
Next, choose time frames, fixed or rolling. Here, we can narrow down the results by using the advanced filters. Choose the frequency of the report and at what time it should be delivered. Finally, you can add your personalized notes to the report. Choose to attach a shareable link or even add a short description of each metric. Before you schedule your automated report, you can always preview it to see what it will look like. Click on Save and Quintly will do the rest. We understand that at the core of great analytics is the most reliable data. That is why all of our social media data resides in our data layer. By following this approach, we are able to deliver the most up-to-date, reliable, well-documented and transparent profile and channel-specific data across seven social media networks. All of our metrics are based on over 50 data sources covering both public and private information. At any time, you can check each of them in detail to see which KPIs are available and what the prerequisites are to use them. QQL gives users unparalleled flexibility in cross-network social media analysis. All of Quintly's data sources are available via our open API, which you can integrate with your existing BI solution and other applications. We are constantly working on giving you more integration options. We currently support Google BigQuery and Google Data Studio out of the box, but more BI connections are coming soon. To summarize, we just showed you how to run and set up a competitive benchmarking report with Quintly, add multiple social media profiles and group them, built a dashboard to compare performance across different channels, Customize the dashboard to specific needs by adding, removing, adjusting metrics, or even coding them in. Share the report, automatically or manually. Finally, an overview of Quintly's data, QQL, API, integrations, and data sources. Quintly's powerful platform helps marketers and analysts quickly build dashboards and get performance insights for multiple use cases, goals, and purposes. Clients in over 60 countries trust our data quality and value our team of social media specialists. We're very proud to be recognized, among others, for our customer support on G2 year after year.